This is Stuart KB1HQS and in this video I'm going to show you some tips and modifications of the Wolf River coil antenna system. Before we get any farther be sure to check out the link I have below in the video notes. This link is to the July 2017 QST magazine article where I reviewed the Wolf River coil antenna system. To clarify what I have and what is shown in this video so there's no confusion I have both the Wolf River coil silver bullet mini and the Wolf River Coil Take It Along model. The Take It Along model includes a small tripod and the Silver Bullet 1000, which is basically the big brother of the Silver Bullet Mini. So if you own a Wolf River Coil or you're looking to purchase one, first to consider is that neither antenna comes with a storage bag. And the bag, which I got off of Amazon, is used to store both the coils, the tripod, as well as all the other accessories. So included in these accessories are the three extension poles, which are all 3 8 24 inch uh, fine threading and these started out as one piece basically one extension pole that I then cut down and added stainless steel hardware to make them a double male threading with 3 8 24 inch. Uh, the reason I did this was to give myself different extension lengths that I could then elevate the coil off of my car. Obviously they could be used with a uh, tripod on the ground also. I like having the different lengths as it gives me more options for elevated coil height. The antenna is going to work better being elevated off the car or the ground. And of course, I can always combine them all together to get a good three foot length overall. This is the extendable whip that came along with the Take It Along kit from Wolf River Coil. I use it for ground installations as well as some mobile applications if I'm stationary. I find that this whip works a lot better than my stainless steel whip that I use while driving, and more on this later. Here are the two coils. You'll notice that one has been painted black with a uh, plastic spray paint. And since this picture was taken, I've painted the other one as well. I just prefer an antenna with a darker color than white, which I find kind of stands out more, especially against a, a dark painted car. This is the tripod from the Take It Along kit, and you'll notice that I've added some ring terminal extensions for the radials. Now, having used the Pactena system, and if you haven't checked out my review on the Pactena Mini, be sure to do that. Uh, basically, the Pactena system uses uh, the elements and the radials are terminated with a mini RC bullet connector and I've added this feature to all my other antenna systems so that I can use my radials interchangeably. And these are my radials which are all 33 foot in length. For radials on the ground I'm not so concerned with the overall length however once elevated I really need them to be a quarter wavelength of the band that I'm operating on. As a result I've made linked radials and these are the ones with a different colored heat shrink. Another universal feature, regardless of my antenna system, is that colors represent different bands. For example, yellow equals 20 meters and so on. It doesn't have to be printed with the band or the frequency, which is nice. I can just look at the color. So in using the antenna and the tripod in the field, I found that I wanted more options for antenna mounting. So I came up with two different techniques to mount the antenna. Number one, I use a clamp that I can attach to a picnic table or other flat surface. And the second one is I use a modified vice grip and an aluminum plate that I made and it accepts both the coil and the radials. This is where the mini RC connectors are really useful. Drilling small holes in the aluminum plate that are just a hair smaller in diameter provides a real firm grip on the RC connector. And being a small hole, I can drill a whole bunch of them, which means more radials attached. And it's also a really super fast and easy connection with no tools required, which is always a bonus. With the radial plate, I can easily attach it to a camera tripod for an elevated antenna. And lastly, here's the Wolf River coil attached for mobile use. Once I started using the antenna for mobile use, I realized I needed a flexible stainless steel whip as there's a lot of overhead bridges and trees in my area. So what I did is I purchased a uh, four foot whip. And while it works okay and it will tune up, the coil much prefers a longer whip, which really isn't surprising. However, due to the numerous underground parking garages that I park in, I really needed the ability to remove the antenna when not in use. So I bought the four foot whip as I could store it inside the vehicle. You know, if you're able to use a longer whip, I highly recommend it. Uh, it'll just tune up a lot better and you'll also get a lot better reception and transmission. Mobile operation, especially in urban areas, is always a compromise. So that wraps up my tips and modifications for the Wolf River Coil antenna system. Hope you found it helpful. If you liked the video, let me know by clicking on the like button below and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. 7-3.